Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we'll be discussing memes. In one way or form, I'm sure each and every one of you has either made one, looked at one, or discussed one in your lifetime. I'm definitely no stranger to cringing my way through hours of them, whether it be on TikTok, Facebook, Reddit, 4chan, Twitter, whichever sources you're actually getting them from. They've been a massive part of the internet culture for the good and for the bad. Which funnily enough, brings me to the very topic of today's video. Where did these iconic memes actually come from? Upon my research, unfortunately, a lot of them actually have quite sinister or disturbing backstories. So today, we will be discussing memes with disturbing backstories. As keeping in style with my previous video, we're going to be going down a list. I'll try to discuss them in a manner where the lighthearted ones are on the surface, and as we go down the list, they get more and more sinister. As per usual, you have been warned. Please sit back and enjoy the video. Tough Guy Entrance Tough Guy was a more recent trend. It started out as a gif of a man walking into a room with a stern and death starey look upon his face. It began spreading in 2019 on Twitter, being used to describe walking into a room in a badass manner. On March 31st, user Tashino posted on Twitter with the caption, How I enter my sibling's room when my charger goes missing gaining over 35,000 retweets and 91,000 likes amongst many others blowing the meme up almost seemingly overnight. But the story of Tough Guy soon came to light and my god is it dark. See this gift comes from court footage in Paris dating back to March 29th 2019. Jawada Bendulda, the man in the meme, appeared in the Paris Court of Appeals for sentencing. What was his crime, you ask? He had just been found guilty of sheltering jihadist terrorists connected to the 2015 Paris terrorist attacks and received a four-year prison sentence for his crimes. Somehow, I doubt he kept the same attitude walking through those prison bars. Woman yelling at cat. I'm sure we have all seen this meme format in one way or another. In recent years, it has seen a great deal of reuse and popularity across Twitter and online forums alike. The meme is made up in two images. On one hand, a woman seemingly upset and angry, yelling and pointing across a table followed by a secondary image on the other side of a cat eating vegetables with a seemingly disgusted look on his face. But underneath this innocent two-picture scene is a story that unravels into something much much darker. The woman in question is one Taylor Armstrong, who was one of the females cast in The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, which aired October 14th, 2010. Particularly, Taylor's iconic image captured in the meme was from season two. Taylor had a very heated moment with a fellow cast member, Camille Grammer, as can be seen partly in this image. The reasoning behind this outburst was that Taylor had told Camilla and other members of the cast that her late husband, one Russell Armstrong, had allegedly abused her multiple times, even going as far as causing facial fracturing, following medical procedures and a bucket load of PTSD to boot. Camilla responded by being caught during filming, gossiping with other cast members on set about Taylor's past. Taylor was understandably outraged and worried about what others might think or what her current husband would think, which would blow up into the scene that has now been immortalized in internet culture forever. Shortly after Taylor filed her allegations of abuse and a divorce towards Russell, he would then proceed to take his own life by suicide. However, she says she doesn't mind that the moment has become a meme. She tweeted out saying, That is my past and I have moved on and I am in a really healthy marriage. It doesn't seem like my life any longer. I work with domestic violence shelters and support victims. It's okay to laugh at the images that have been created. Now that I've explained the first part, you're probably wondering about how a cat comes into all this. This part of the story is way less intense. The cat's name is Smudge, who has only decided to create an Instagram page for under the alias Smudge Lord. Now Smudge first went viral when the picture of him sat at the table captioned, he no like vegetables, was posted on Tumblr. The matchmaker for this unlikely duo is actually reported to be a Twitter user by the username of Missing E-Girl, whose Twitter page is now sadly deactivated. 
She tweeted the two images side by side back in May 2019 with the simple caption, These photos together are making me lose it. Obviously, others agreed and it didn't take long for the tweet to go viral, raking up over 78,000 retweets and over 275,000 likes in just over three months. Once it was out there, people decided to add their own spins to the meme, further ingraining it into internet stardom for the years to follow. The Nodding Man now, the internet rarely agrees with one another, but in very rare cases that they do, in the past, it's been signified by a gif of Zach Galifianakis silently nodding while the camera gently zooms in. But what if I told you this wasn't the case and that in fact, the internet as a whole had this seemingly harmless gif interpreted completely wrong? This image is most certainly not Zach. It is actually Robert Redford an Oscar-winning actor born in 1936, starring in movie roles such as Horse Whisperer and Out of Africa. Now, you'd be forgiven if you didn't know any of these movie roles as they were made quite a long time ago. What's even worse about this though, other than the confusion, is the movie that this iconic gif is taken from is Sidney Pollock's 1972 film, Jeremiah Johnson, in which Robert plays Johnson, a man driven into insanity back in the Wild West times after his wife was brutally murdered by the Crows, an infamous Native American tribe, causing Johnson to go into a 20-year-long killing spree against all Native Americans. It sadly doesn't end here. To make matters much, much more sinister, Johnson was a real person. Johnson would eat his victims, generally starting with their livers, as they were said to be needed in the Native American afterlife and after his capture was reported to have cut off a prison guard's leg and eaten it on his journey back home. I would now like to apologize to anyone who has had this gift now completely ruined for them. I know it has been for me. Distracted Boyfriend. A cult classic at this point in time. If you've been around the internet, you've more than likely seen one or the many iterations of this meme format. A man with his partner staring back at a passing by woman checking out her backside. This meme started to see use in 2017, found from stock photo collections dating back to 2015. Although not as dark as some of the previously mentioned stories, this photo is one of many sets in the same collection. It starts out with the couple having a child and dives into baby struggles and furthermore, what seems to be the man cheating through messages, eventually into the iconic photo of the man checking the passing by girl out with the shocking conclusion of him being in bed with what appears to be the girl from the previous photos that he was checking out. This is honestly truly a strange stock photo collection, all in which tell a horrible story of a relationship going south before its inevitable ending. Not quite sure what to make of this, but I thought it should be included nonetheless. Jeremy Meeks Mugshot also known as Prison Bay or Hot Felon, is actually a police booking photograph of a convicted felon by the name of Jeremy Meeks. He gained much online notoriety after the picture was posted on Facebook in June 2014. This meme is a little older than the previous ones we have discussed, so you would be forgiven for not knowing as it hasn't seen much use in recent times. Jeremy gained much media attention due to his mugshot, mostly over how attractive he was in his photo, sparking memes to start spreading like wildfire across all social media at the time. But most people didn't really dig into what he was charged over, mostly starstruck by his piercing blue eyes. In 2002, Meeks was charged with robbery, resulting in a violent assault of a 16-year-old boy when Meeks was just 18 himself. Meeks responded with taking a plea deal, landing himself in a Californian prison for two years. It doesn't end here though. Meeks would again land himself in hot water over gun possession and resisting arrest in June 2014, when the legendary mugshot was posted by the police, serving all up a grand total of nine years jail time. Now, Meeks in recent times has been living the high life after jail due to his viral face meme and landing modeling roles and recently even being considered for movies, lending truth to the old saying that a pretty face can get you out of literally anything. Bald nonce meme. 
If the name didn't already jog your memory, Bald Nonce was a video originally filmed in 2019. Perhaps you've seen TikTok with the audio. Now I'm panicking. Yeah, Don't panic. No, I am because I'm going to lose my job. But or videos of a bald man saying, Thanks for this. That's ruin right, my holiday. Hang on a moment. Holiday, you yeah. ruined yeah. your own holiday. No, yeah. you, you ruined have... it. It started gaining traction mostly through reactions on the tweets or the occasional TikTok trend. But the story of how this bald man came to be is so, so much worse than you can imagine. In full, the video is a rather disturbing interaction with a British man being accused of pedophilia. Filmed on the 12th of April 2019, and originally a 39 minute Facebook Live by pedophile hunting group Cobra UK, or Children Online Battling Real Abuse. The video shows a man being confronted for trying to meet up with a 14 year old girl by several people. They accuse him of speaking to at least 10 separate child accounts, some as young as 11 asking a particular child to have a bath with him and sending a picture of his morning glory to one of them. He begrudgingly accepts all of the claims made against him, clearly very scared and making every effort to leave the situation. He asks to be given some space and is even restrained against the fence by his chest at one point after a large outburst. Being told that he's not allowed to make contact with his mum, he claims that he will likely lose his job and eventually commit suicide. There is no information about what happened to the man in terms of punishment, but it is likely that as helpful as the pedophile hunters may be in certain ways, the police have to go to some effort to ensure that the people featured in the video are not brought to any harm by receiving any further publicity. It is unknown if the man was ever arrested for the allegations or if he was ever seen again. Troll face. Now, I couldn't do a disturbing meme video without mention of one of the most viral and iconic memes since the beginning. Trollface has been a staple on Reddit, DeviantArt, 4chan, Twitter, and literally any social media or forum room. No matter which side of the internet you're from, you've probably seen the sinister smile and unblinking eyes of Trollface. Unbeknownst to many though, Trollface had a rather disturbing origin story, much like many things gaining popularity from 4chan. The Trollface was originally drawn by one Carlos Ramirez, better known by his deviant aunt username, Whiny, as part of an MS Paint webcomic about the relentless and pointless nature of trolling on 4chan's video game forums back in September 19th, 2008. Now, these comics took a complete life of their own, sparking reuse by many, forming their own memes and trolling images across the internet, and soon became the internet's iconic face for trolling and messing around online. 2009 saw Trollface insert itself into practically every social media or Twitter post comment section, with people commonly crafting their own witty lines or stories. But... Trollface's creation is one of disturbing origins. In the original post by Ramirez, he left a note stating that Trollface was an attempt to recreate a comic character by the name of Mighty Mouse, otherwise known as Rodent, used online in ways I would honestly rather not discuss here. It is unclear what his original intentions were for Trollface besides the comics, but thankfully it has been given a new lease of life and meaning. Even after dying out, it has seen a rebirth in recent years on Twitch of all places, and live streaming in general, allowing a new generation of users to engage in a little trolling themselves. Plastic surgery meme gone wrong. This one is a little dated, but I felt like it needed to be discussed. Heidi Ye, a Taiwanese model with two years of experience in her career, unknowingly embarked on an advertising photo shoot for a plastic surgery clinic completely unaware that the resulting photograph would wreak havoc on her life and bring her career to a standstill. BBC did a whole segment on this meme, that is how severe it was, lasting around two minutes. The BBC segment retells the tale of Yi's photograph transformed into an internet sensation, spiraling out of control. Yi initially agreed to the photo shoot in the early 2000s, believing it to be straightforward advertising campaign for the clinic that had paid her to do it. The advertisement portrayed Yi seated alongside a model playing her husband, accompanied by three children who bore little to no resemblance to their supposed parents. The caption on the meme provocatively stated, the only thing you'll ever have to worry about is how to explain it to the kids. 
The children's images in the ad had been skillfully altered using Photoshop to impart a particular appearance of that not bared by their parents. Regrettably, the internet community stumbled upon this image years later and transformed it into various internet memes. As these memes spread far and wide across the early days of the internet, news outlets picked up the photo and presented it as a genuine news story without conducting any fact checking whatsoever. One Chinese newspaper in particular published a story claiming that a man had successfully sued his wife for divorce and sought financial compensation due to her alleged deception via plastic surgery, only revealed when she apparently gave birth to an unattractive baby daughter. The newspaper went on to say that the woman had undergone significant plastic surgery before meeting said man. Subsequently, the newspaper had to issue a massive apology for running the story without verifying the facts. But the harm to Heidi's reputation and career was already too far gone. She estimated her losses in potential earnings to exceed over $100,000 due to the adverse publicity and the negative backlash. Recently, Ye made her story public and is now contemplating legal action against both the clinic and modeling agency, seeking approximately $150,000 in damages. Meanwhile, the clinic asserts that they had acquired the rights to Yee's likeness in their advertising campaign and is considering legal action against Yee for harming their image as well. Well, I guess there really is no happy endings in modeling. Cheem. I'd be doing a disservice to everyone if I didn't mention the iconic bonk dog, also referred to by Cheem or Boltsy, the Shiba Inu. This wonderful good boy of the internet is responsible for memes like the bonk meme, depicting him sitting bonking someone with a baseball bat, generally when they're being a little too horny, or sitting silently judging us with his piercing glare. Now I'm confident if you've been around the net, you've seen this puppy spring up from time to time, at least once or twice. Cheem's shot to fame started way back in 2017 when an awkward photo of him went viral, sparking a meme that is still shared to this day. Although not a disturbing origin story by any means, the conclusion is utterly devastating for Cheem and his fans all over the world. As of 2023, Cheem sadly passed away in an operation with local vets, in which he never woke up from his battle with leukemia, a cancer that affects the blood and bone marrow. Cheem's owner had some wonderful words to sum up his life and his online fandom, stating, Don't be sad. Please remember the joy that Boltsy brought to the world. A Shiba Inu with a round smiling face, connecting you and me. He has helped many people during the pandemic and brought a lot of joy to many of you. But now his mission has been completed. Cheem's family believes he's in a better place now. Also stating, Cheem is running freely in the sky and having a lot of delicious food with his new friends. Naturally, the internet had a joint send-off, spreading even more pictures of Cheem with angel wings ascending to heaven. A beautiful send-off for a beautiful animal. Rest in peace, Cheem. Concern man on phone. Now, this is an extremely common meme used quite frequently on Twitter or X or whatever alphabetical letter Elon decides next. It depicts a man holding a phone to his face with a worried look upon it. The internet loves to use this in conjunction with disturbing tweets or messages online. And I'm no stranger to using this one myself. But as seems to be the trend with viral memes, the story is a little more concerning to say the least. The man in the photograph was none other than Martin Baker who was a former Republican congressional primary candidate. On August 17th, 2014, The Guardian published an article about protesters in St. Louis, Missouri, who came out in support of Darren Wilson, the police officer who fatally shot teenager Michael Brown in Ferguson, Missouri earlier that month. The article referred to a man named Martin Baker as the sole black member of the crowd that day. The very same day, a thread titled, Meet the One Black Man That Showed Up at the Rally for the Cop That Killed Michael Brown. This article was submitted to Lipstick Alley Forums, which highlighted a photograph of Baker holding a Darren Wilson t-shirt in the thread. A forum member by the name Original Warris posted another photograph of Baker, 
in which he is shown holding his cell phone up to his ear, marking the beginning of this meme. This sparked outrage to see a fellow black community member supporting an act of violence from a police officer. And as you can imagine, gained Martin much notoriety and hatred across the internet as a whole. The Grinning Girl Grinning Girl has been a staple in meme culture for as long as I can remember, usually being used sarcastically or playfully for being guilty of something. This meme is a little different from the others we have discussed, as the origin isn't the startling part, it's how it tragically ended. The young girl in the photo is Kalia Posey, who was a contestant on the set of the show Toddlers and Tiaras, airing in 2010. She appeared three times in the history of the show, both in 2011 and the 2016 seasons as well. The photo was taken on set and from there went viral across the internet without any sign of slowing down. Sadly, on May 2nd, 2022, Posey was found dead at a park in Blaine, Washington after being reported missing by her mother. Her death was ruled as a suicide by hanging. Her mother Marcy stating at the time, I don't have words or any thoughts. A beautiful baby girl is gone. Please give us privacy as we mourn the loss of Kalia, my baby forever. Posey was only just 16 at the time of her passing. The family has since organized a teen crisis intervention fund at the Whatcom Community Foundation, with the proceeds going towards students suffering from mental health issues. This was all in loving memory of their daughter. A harrowing tale and a saddening reminder that mental health is a slow and sudden killer that doesn't discriminate to who it affects. Honestly, there was a staggering amount of memes that had disturbing backstories and horrible origins. So many, in fact, that I couldn't add them all in. I tried to blend both less known and more known, just for variety's sake, of course. If this video is well received, I might do a part two because honestly, there's so much content there yet untouched that I feel like I can dive back into it again. Also, I don't want to take too much of your time, but I want to say a huge thank you for all the support on the last video I did. This started out as a passion project just to have a creative outlet, something that I can do besides just sitting at my computer doing nothing. And the video itself has done so much better than I even thought it could. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below just in case if you're interested. I'll probably be doing some more icebergs in the future, some more of these kind of videos. I really love this style. Huge shout out to Two. He gives me all the inspiration for these. I absolutely love his style of editing, so make sure you go check him out. I'll link him below as well. And again, if you think I did a good enough job for this video, a like and a sub do go a long way, although not necessary, obviously. I'm just happy if people can enjoy the videos that I'm putting out. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.